kinds of opportunities. An anxious audience in an uncertain time for heavy industry and a period of political unrest for a prime minister. What we need to do is build common ground. But common ground has been in short supply when it comes to climate and the economy. This mining conference was targeted by protesters this weekend, building on the blockades and barricades that stop trains across the country. All of it fueling a climate of uncertainty that, a week ago, led to the shelving of Alberta's tech frontier oil sands mine. I don't know why the government of Canada has been unable to get its act together on these issues. But let's look so in this speech, Trudeau outlined a process to get Canada's act together. In the coming year, we want to hear from you on how Canada should innovate and transform our economy to keep good jobs here and create new ones. The start of consultations with industry, Indigenous people and all Canadians on how to get to net zero emissions by 2050 without crippling growth. The global economy is rapidly changing. Not just the global economy, but global finance as well. The giants of private equity are changing their investment strategies in response to climate change, making heavy emitting projects like the oil sands less viable unless they are backstopped by a clear environmental plan. And for a country like Canada, where the national economy was built on the natural resources sector, there's a big transformation ahead. A big transformation and some big conversations. Trudeau will bring this same message to the table next week when he sits down with Canada's premiers and national indigenous leaders. And federal sources say those words will be backed up by specific measures in the upcoming budget. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.